everyone. Welcome to episode 40 of Tentacle Tales of Terror. I'm your host, Kite, on this May 14th of 2024, and today's story is The Festival by H.P. Lovecraft. Now, episodes of Tentacle Tales of Terror will be every Tuesday at a weekly basis at 4 p.m. of every month to the best of my ability. And again, today's story is The Festival by Mr. Lovecraft. So sit back and relax and listen to what I have to say. Leave a like on this video, leave a comment. So sit back, relax, and listen to what I have to say about the festival by H.P. Lovecraft. So, for the plot, a man who seems to be coming home from the holidays as for this story, Christmas. But the man doesn't know this town has some sinister traditions. So, for my first side note, the Nepercon... Namakon gets mentioned a few times within this story. I can see why Mr. Lovecraft wrote it in the way that he did. So could this town have some connection to Innsmouth? I mean, with some of the descriptions in this story, it really reminded me of the story The Shadow Over Innsmouth, which I only remember from Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Uh, Call of Cthulhu the Dark Corners of the Earth for the original Xbox and PC. If you know the game, you know. <laughs> so there. So I have to say for the notable quote one, or the first notable quote, and they were strange because they had come as dark furtive folk from opiate southern gardens of orchids and spoke in another tongue before they learnt the tongue of the blue-eyed fishers. The festival, page 281. I don't know if these blue-eyed fishers could have been human with blue eyes or strange ghastly fish people that slightly look human but more amphibic or fish-like with blue eyes. Who knows? I'm just going to leave it at that. And so for side note number three, this town has some history of crimes of witchcraft. However, I wouldn't exactly say this story is taking place in Salem, Massachusetts. A quote stood out to me though on page 282. They had hanged four kinsmen of mine for witchcraft in 1692, but I do not know where. The festival, page 282. Then if you knew this information, why did you set foot back in this village town in the first place? I get it. I get it. A son was coming home from the army on Christmas and wanted to reunite with his father, but seriously, Seriously, there's some shady things going on in this town, man. I mean, I don't know if it could be connected to Innsmouth or whatever, but hey, it seems like you wrote your own funeral. And so, for side note number four, pages 283 through 288 all had me at the edge of my seat while reading them. Like, it had such a sheer intensity of religious cultish horror vibes. Like, from the 1970s or 1980s, you know, those kind of films. And it was just a really wonderful experience. So, for my final thoughts is, this story was a blast. It was an absolute blast for me. From the unnerving tension building up from the Christmas surrounding environment to the final reveal on the pages, the story is definitely going to be revisited down the road for me. So, that's it for the festival by H.P. Lovecraft in this episode of Tentacle Tales of Terror, which is episode 40, the big 4-0. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. I'm your host, Kite562 signing out and as always hope you have a wonderful day everybody later